Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BSV TV. I'm your host, Sir Toshi, and on this show, we'll be defending the one and only truly genuine Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that Satoshi Nakamoto designed in his white paper as a peer to peer electronic cash system for the world. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. So all the statements that you hear on this show are opinion and must only ever be taken as opinion. They are never to be taken as any form of advice, family, financial, sexual or otherwise. And on that note, let's sit back, relax, have some fun and enjoy the show. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and set your own fee on Streamanity. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit, he signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. At Enshain, we've just funded a number of universities doing, so far, a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts, basically ones that can run operating systems. That's all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, we can scale each of those transactions 1000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally. Is the market that effectively BSV is going for, is that global e-commerce, which is currently valued at $29 trillion? No, that's just more. Buy and sell Bitcoin instantly at bsvgravity.com. And you can now book and pay for your winter holiday at skibsv.com. Good afternoon, everybody. It looks like we are live at five. I got here just in time today, so I'm chuffed to bits with that. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to try and shorten these shows just because I know that most people, when they see like a show that's an hour long, even though it's good quality content, uh, when they're looking at it on YouTube or whatever, they're just oh, really am I going to, have to spend an hour of my life listening to this? You know, can't you just tell me all? Can't you just give me all the information in ten minutes? Well, no, I can't because there's a lot of information that you need to take in, and it all links with each other. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do my best anyway. So uh, the reason we broadcast on Twitch is because of YouTube have kindly taken down two of my channels. Then they were preventing me from editing my shows. Then they were deleting episodes, and I was like, you know, this is everything that's wrong with big tech, and this is why we need Bitcoin. So now we broadcast on Twitch every day live at five from wherever I am in the world put the trailer or partial episodes or whatever up onto YouTube, do it so long as I think they're acceptable and I don't get banned. Um, and then put the full episode up onto Streamanity, where you can set your own fee according to how you judge the quality of your content. Right, let's just jump straight into it. I was actually thinking about um, doing, oh actually, let's just, let's just have a look through the figures first, because they are massively important. Um, cause uh, they tell us kind of like what's going on. See, we're following here. Gonna go to Twitch stats, Acorn stack. Here we go. All right, well, let's see what it was. Uh, New Year's is all 62. Gone down a little bit, going down just, just a little bit, not too much though. Um, what was it the day before? 90, 127. Oh, so maybe things are coming down a bit. 191. Um, 596, so something happened there, and then we've got that record break in 1788, so that's still looking pretty good. Um, let's have a uh, look at our favorite one coin dance again, like for newbies and stuff, they've probably never seen any of these figures. They're like, Whoa, what's all this? What does all this mean? Um, well, this is what all this is all the stuff that the shit coiners won't tell you, huh? Um, so again, really not bothered about these shit coins. Only want to look at Bitcoin hash rate 0.3%, network nodes 2.3, transactions 28.6, block size 36.3. Uh, Let's see who's mining what. Um, so yeah, we'll just go on to more details here. 
no point in uh, going through the, the comp comparative graphs just yet because nothing well again you know the horizon is closing in fast but it's not here just yet um so seven days that was mining let's see what they are today all 24 hours uh Tal with 48.6 hathor with 27.08 uh, via BTC still clinging on to their very small share but look at this Huobi nowhere to be seen Binance nowhere to be seen BTC.com nowhere to be seen so we've got F2 pool on there uh, and again they've been selling loads of BTC recently um, Mempool good to see them on there Matterpool good to see them making an appearance as well that's Daniel Krawitz and co uh, other mining on there so I guess I mean literally uh, you know I'm not sure uh, if F2 pool are you know uh, friendly or malicious but um, they're you know uh, who knows but uh, there's yeah, I don't know at the moment they're uh, you know unknown whereas we know that obviously Binance was uh, malicious btc.com was uh, malicious Huobi was clearly malicious and uh, Hathor has done what they needed to to kick them off the chain which is uh, which is pretty great. So let's have a uh, quick look at the uh, block sizes. Tell you we'll just go back to the main page. See this. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, so some nice looking blocks here. 1 1.8, 3.0, 4.4, 5.1, 3.4.3. Yeah, not, not bad, not bad. 3.3. Smaller blocks on B crash. They're running out of steam clearly. And uh, cool coin, <laughs> it's still exactly the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hash rate, price, value, you, uh, utility, hash rate. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't really mean jack shit at the moment, to be honest. Um, okay, yeah, and let's go down. So let's just have a look at the hash rate on the other chart. So. 24 hours look at that so binance macking it hard on core coin via btc up there on core coin what on earth are we looking oh no yeah oh yeah that oh that's um just 24 hours look at via btc they're macking it hard this is core coin so f2 pool still macking it hard on core coin uh binance big in there wow uh jeepers not used to seeing that it's usually uh f2 pool pool in and btc.com but these shitcoin enterprises i mean it's pretty <sighs> let me look at this when you think about it we know that binance is a shitcoin enterprise done about pooling but we know amp pool is a shitcoin enterprise we know btc.com is a shitcoin enterprise we know btc top is a shitcoin enterprise we now know huobi is a shitcoin enterprise yeah, it's just all this shit you know in the space this is the space needs to be uh, cleared up we'll come on to that in a minute uh b crash <laughs> shit as ever um and this is bitcoin so i mean again like i said just you know f2 pool and uh, via btc are questionable on there but um good to see uh i mean tau huge amount of hash rate you know and these these other ones sv pool increasing theirs um yeah, and uh, and matter pool so all right we'll see that to have a look at uh, Bitcoin Blocks Live. Let's jump straight into it. See what's going on. Transactions per second registering. So they're back down to 2.8. Uh, relatively small blocks on the chain here. So uh, it looks like whatever D stealth drive is or was has now plateaued out for the month. So they're not doing any more transactions, which means they've stopped at 8,953,000. 562 transactions um and again no name no nothing which is why i'm nicknaming it d stealth drive so we we've, we've yet to find out what that is or was let's have a uh and i noticed that uh the scaling test network had uh changed their transactions per second recently look so they're they're saying that uh, over the last 24 hours there was an average of uh, 12 transactions a second so I don't know whether it's a bit late whether that's picking up on D drive um, yeah don't don't know but uh, the other all the other figures look relatively I mean again I mean that that should be way up that doesn't include the transactions of uh, D drive um, 
Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So still 2.93, yeah. Um, well, again, that should be uh, 369, actually, megabytes on the uh, on the main net. But yeah, not showing. Let's have a look at uh, bit info charts just quickly. Uh, again, transactions 24 hour. Log three years. Yeah, again, transactions just not being picked up there at all. And then we'll uh, look at uh, pie charts. It lets us go back, come on. There we go, charts. Uh, yeah, so still, still not registering. It is a mystery. It is a mystery. Um, so yeah, that was a quick look at that. Oh, let's have a quick look at the uh, shitcoin market while we're here. Let's do this motoring through this show today. Uh, so core coins, let's have a quick look at this. Upsy downsies in the red. What are they going to do now that Tether doesn't seem to be printing any of their shit? So still up in the month, but look, that's that's down from uh, yeah, that's over a week. So I'd say that's um, like ten days ago. So interesting to see where it goes from there. Now that there's no tether being printed to, well, it doesn't appear to be any tether tether being printed to uh, prop it up. Because I mean, you know, what's the New York attorney, what's the New York Attorney General going to do if they do start doing that? You know, is this their final warning? Are they going to just flout what's happened to them? Oh, yeah, we've got an $18 million fine, but oh, yeah, don't worry about that. We can just print some more money and pay that off again. <laughs> you know, like, absolutely nuts. Again, I'm not used to seeing Bitcoin sort of outside here, but I mean, still holding strong, like holding really strong at that at that price. I mean, these, these entry levels here... Um, at $180. I mean, I'm picking up Bitcoin for $180. You know, I mean, it just literally blow. It blows my mind when uh, when we realise what we're doing. So we just have a uh, or what we're able to do. Uh, let's have a look at all again. So 182. Where would that have been? All right, and look at this. So well, there we go. So it's like October, October 2013. Is when it was so late October, October 24, 2013. Just amazing prices. The fact that I mean, this gives us an indication of what what is coming. But I mean, this this happened, and it's a speculative piece of digital dog shit that literally does nothing. That you can't transact. That everyone's got out oh, store of value, digital gold uh, replaced by fee. Child pays for parent. Lightning network with no value. You know, lose your coins and all this kind of crap. Imagine what this is going to be like when people actually start using it. You know, when corporations come in. It literally, imagine this, like, on steroids is what we're going to be faced with. But, actually, this, this is something that uh, brings me on to my next topic, actually, that uh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, so, we'll just go to my uh, profile. Had a chat with uh, Wall Street about this. Let's see. Oh, again, just mentioning this one quickly. It's all about number go up with these shit coiners. So this was uh, Anthony Pompolano's post going up. Uh, Blackstone CEO Stephen Schwartzman uh, took home $610 million last year. Uh, that, and remember that $610 million was just printed by the Federal Reserve and effectively handed over through various means. <laughs> uh, that could have bought him 20,333 Bitcoin at the end of the year. Today he could only buy 12,200 Bitcoin. That's core coin with the same dollars. Dollars are depreciating rapidly against Bitcoin. Again, there is no fundamental understanding in that tweet whatsoever. It is just utter shit. Utter shit. Scarcity you make number go up. It's, uh, again, shit coin is shit for brains. Stay away from them. They're just dangerous. Really dangerous. Um, oh, my. Yeah, that video will play in just a second. But let me just find uh, my um, uh, tweets that I had with... Wall Street, Wall Street 5, 5 Wall Street, whatever it was. So around here somewhere, we shall find it. Um, oh yeah, here we go, this might have been it. Yeah, so um, uh, somebody said here, uh, the only way to raise awareness is a 10x candle from uh, from BSV. And again, you know, people are, people are going, oh, you know, we, we really need to get this thing going. You know, uh, because, what, one of the, um, 
Oh, was it Citigroup was saying, oh, you know, well, it, it's a tipping point. You know, core coin might be used by institutional players very soon. It could be seen as a world reserve asset. Absolute bollocks. Uh, it is the paradox of the centralized starting point that needs to be solved in order for it to be a commodity. If it is not a commodity, it is a simply an illegal centralized security, which is absolutely and utterly fundamentally worthless as money. Which is what uh, which is what people need to understand. So um, let me just find. I had some more uh, um, twos and fro's from uh, from Wall Street. We'll go to my uh, tweets and replies here. Already on that. Good, good, good. Uh, I mentioned something about a uh, <laughs> nuclear explosion. Uh, yeah, it was something like this. Like, it's coming. That's the one. Let's have a look at these. This chain of tweets here. So, yeah, it started off here where Wall Street said, uh, Notice to BSV community. BSV needs to get cranked this year, 2021. Uh, we we can't get to the party after it's over. Uh, build, promote, CSW, best of luck, do whatever it takes. We're at a tipping point. Yeah, so this was the tipping point I was talking about. This is what people really, really need to understand. The only race that Bitcoin is in is with the block reward halving itself. None of these shit coins stand a chance because they do not solve the paradox of the centralized starting point. It's the paradox of the centralized starting point that makes Bitcoin a commodity. A commodity is something that is common to everyone that no one controls. But again, if no one controls it with it being digital, it can be tampered with, which is what CSW expected, which is why he created the Tulip Trust as an insurance policy for Bitcoin, because he knew that these shysters would do exactly as they've done and tamper with it, try and control it and centralize it and make it absolutely useless, which is what they have done. So this is this is what I've realized, and this is this is really important now. This Tulip Trust would have literally wiped BTC off the face of the planet, literally along with all the other shit coins, quite literally. But that would have been apt, that would have been disastrous for, I suppose, if you want to call it the crypto society in general. But then that got me thinking: if he was willing to do that, and we all saw the 1.4 million uh, core coin lined up, literally ready to dump, you know. And he's always said, like, these shit coiners are not the market that Bitcoin is going for. So it wouldn't have mattered if they were wiped out. It is corporations first. So literally, um, we the, the, the process that Bitcoin started with was, like obviously being a white paper released um, uh, 31st of October, 2008. Network started uh, 3rd of January, 2009. And then the network grew. So that period, was basically all about uh, price discovery, number go up, people getting involved in Bitcoin, people using it. And so he expected that the use case to be seen. But he also suspected that it might not have been seen and that people would tamper with it and F it up, which is what they have done. Now, because it's corporations first, it doesn't matter if all these douchebags lose everything. Just wipe them out. They are not needed. They are not required. Literally, so we here in Bitcoin, when Wall Street's saying, look, you know, do whatever you can, you know, crank it up this year. Uh, I, I know this sounds a little bit defeatist, but, you know, obviously CSW wants us to do our best and educate people, you know, build applications on it, um, you know, so you, to sort of demonstrate the use. So we have got applications like Streamanity, Twitch, Relica, you know, things like that. But really, the big players are, are people like Unisoc. EHR Data, Geospot, these are the huge corporations that already have the resources to put into Bitcoin to make it what it was designed to be. So, so really, he could have wiped out all these shit coins and it's just like, well, don't worry about it. It's not for you anyway. This is for corporates because as soon as corporates understand the value that it gives in terms of data efficiency and data security, they will be all over this thing. Literally like a like a rat up a drain pipe or flies on shit, whatever you wanna whatever you wanna call it. So really, like my my role here, I, all I'm doing is basically trying to deflect as much attention off of CSW as possible. Because those shit corners, like I said, shit corners are inconsiderate and they are dangerous. And they're dangerous because they're dumb. 
and they're dumb because they're inconsiderate, and when they're inconsiderate, they do stupid things, which turn out to be dangerous. But, but literally, it is the huge corporations that have the resources to be able to build on Bitcoin to show to bring it to its fullest potential. So really, what I'm saying is, it's not a case of, look, you know, oh, you know, we really need to pump the price. We really need to do something shit and stupid and, you know, pathetic. Like, it is coming. The, the huge price discovery in Bitcoin. I mean, <laughs> CSW himself being the richest person in the world. He has got the resources to fund these large corporations if they need it. Or, you know, uh, people that have got big ideas. He's like, right, I've got some money for you there. There you go. Build that, build that, build that, build that. You know, it is it is coming. Literally, corporations first. It's going to be absolutely massive. So, like, what I'm saying is don't fret about it. Like, seriously, do not fret. Um, we'll just bring up that uh, my favorite image here of uh, the Coin Geek one. Here we go. Show images. We all know which one this is. The Tau chart. Here we go. This is it. This is the only race we're in. The only race we're in is the race against the block reward halving. And it's corporations that are going to literally like blow this thing out of the water. Yeah, and none of these shit corners have a clue. Like none, none of them have a clue. It wouldn't have mattered if they were just uh, gone. Like I said, because the value proposition that it offers to, uh, to corporations. Corporations first, the rest of the world just simply follows. Um, that is it really. So I did actually send him uh, an article, which is why... Wall Street replied and was just like, oh, you know, that's an interesting point of view. So I might I might actually just go through this quickly before we jump into some uh, videos. Um, excuse me while I arm and R. Here we go. Is it under... Oh, I'll be under tweets and replies. Here we go. It is here somewhere... There we go, that's the one. Check it out. Uh, Bitcoin, the case to smash $1 million, uh, $1 million really quickly. Really quick. And like I said, there is nothing that we small people can do to make Bitcoin smash the $1 million fast. It is literally going to be corporations piling in on this thing. Piling in on this thing. Uh, and this is the reason why, why CSW has designed it to rocket in value. We're like outlined right here. So I've said here, um, as opposed to fiat currency that has its value debased and inflated away over time through its uh, constant printing via central banks and governments, Bitcoin is commodity money. The difference between a security and a commodity is that a security is created by a central authority and ultimately has its value secured by it. In the case of the US dollar, its value is backed by the power of the uh, United States and its military. Although not strictly a security because it doesn't produce a dividend and does not represent the value of a company, uh, it is more like a token. Prior to the Nixon shock on the 15th of August uh, 1971, the US dollar was a token on gold that could be redeemable as such. A commodity is common to everyone. There are no barriers to owning it and its value is ultimately derived from its usefulness. The commodity that Bitcoin provides is that of digital data immutability and data sovereignty in the form of blockchain, as there is no blockchain without Bitcoin. The problem with fiat currency is that it, uh, um, is that it is ultimately printed and controlled by a single centralized entity that has power over an economy. This means that the price of all stocks, bonds, shares, equity, securities, goods and services are affected directly by the central authority with the power to print the money, which can have devastating consequences over people's lives when the controlling power either acts with criminal intent or recklessly irresponsible in their actions, such as, you know, uh, just, you know, just economic ignorance. Um, the fact that fiat currency can be used to purchase Bitcoin means that the central authority with the power to print it could theoretically purchase as much Bitcoin as they desire, as the amount of currency um, they can print is infinite. This ultimately undermines the value of Bitcoin because it means the price can be manipulated by those who supply, um, by those who supply, uh, who simply, sorry, who simply print the money to purchase it. If this were to happen, uh, which at some point is highly likely due to human nature, because humans can't help themselves because they're greedy, the, va the value of Bitcoin could fluctuate wildly, and by that I mean like, absolutely rocket in price, and undermine its use as cash. 
The only way to prevent government and central banks from artificially manipulating the price of Bitcoin is to make its price so high that printing fiat currency to purchase Bitcoin actually um, undermines the fiat currency itself. In other words, the amount of fiat currency that would have to be printed in order to purchase any significant amount of Bitcoin would have such negative consequences on those doing, the, doing it that it would outweigh any positive benefits they desired to gain. Uh, so in other words, if, if they were just like printing it and massively inflating their own currency, as in like hugely devaluing their own currency, and people would like, what do you think you're doing? That currency is something that you forced me to use. This isn't fair. Then you get rebellions rising up. So they're just like, oh, we can't print this money anymore and buy Bitcoin with it. No, you can't because you shouldn't be. You shouldn't have the power to print money and make it up out of thin air in the first place. Uh, due to the fact that national security runs parallel with economic prosperity and printing fiat currency can be done so cheaply, the likelihood is that central banks and governments will initially print as much fiat currency as, um, as possible in order to purchase Bitcoin. However, once Bitcoin reaches a price of, for example, like one million dollars plus, it means that one billion uh, or one million dollars plus, it means that one billion US dollars would have to be printed in order to purchase as little as one thousand Bitcoin. One billion US dollars being received by a single entity, because obviously they'd have to print it first and then send it somewhere. Um, for the purpose of uh, purchasing Bitcoin is very unlikely to go unnoticed. For example, like Bloomberg picking up on all these off balance sheet transactions. And therefore questions would be raised about the legitimacy of such large amounts of money and where it came from. So in other words, it's just like, hold on a minute, where did that come from? Who printed that and what's it for? Like literally, so there's just, they can't do it because they, they will just simply be exposed for the crooks that they are printing this shit, trying to buy Bitcoin with it. You know, this is what's good. This is what's going to happen. Um, so uh, this, this means that those with the desire to accumulate Bitcoin will have to think of alternative ways of doing so, which ultimately leads to the creation of significant sized mining operations or the creation of highly desirable goods and services in business that people are willing to trade in exchange for Bitcoin. So in other words, they're not going to be printing money because they can't print enough money to, to buy any significant, you know, any significant amount of it. So then there's like, oh, well actually, right, we, we want all this stuff uh, and people are gonna see us buying Bitcoin with the money. Uh, right, what should we do instead? All oh, right, well, what well what we can do is we can uh, print this money and buy, uh, buy mining machines with it. So therefore it looks like we're actually uh, investing and doing something with it, not just simply buying Bitcoins out of nothing for ourselves because it's the Bitcoin that's valuable. So they're gonna be forced to, um, they're going to be forced to support the system if they want it. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I suspect that Satoshi Nakamoto had foreseen this event unfolding and has purposely designed Bitcoin to undermine and expose those who currently have the central authority uh, and power to pr simply print as much money as they desire. This is the case for Bitcoin to smash one million dollars fast. Um, it would it would do it really it would do it really quickly like really quickly, so we're gonna I'm um, gonna do some uh, videos first but first of all uh, which is before that I uh, want I was just I was gonna uh, name this video something to do with Cardano uh, just purely for clickbait because like literally all the shit coiners are all over Cardano at the moment it's an absolute joke there we go more details we'll just go I think we can click on our website. Just Cardano.org, making the world a better place for all. What an absolute load of shit. An absolute load of shit. Look at this. Cardano is a blockchain platform or a cha for change makers. Is that right? Yeah. Innovators and visionaries, whatever, with the roots and, uh, and technologies required to create um, possi um, possibility for the many as well as the few and bring about positive global change. Yada, yada, yada. It's all blurb I've heard a million times before. It's going to revolutionize the blockchain. So I've seen some of these uh, these social media influencers. So we're just going to check out some of their uh, thumbnails on uh, on YouTube here. So we're just going to type in Cardano. Look at the amount of shit that comes up. Here we go. Uh, Cardano. It's all like, oh, this guy's here. Andre Jack. Look. I mean, look, look at this. Oh, Cardano to the moon. Cardano to the moon. Cardano ADA just getting started. Why Cardano price falling? Oh, well. Cardano surge. Oh, that's from like the uh, Cardano. That'll probably be another scam advert. 
you know, uh, three things going to happen. Hoskinson 88 price predictions, explosion, blah, blah, blah. Cardano explosive gains, absolute bullshit. Oh, Cardano versus Ethereum. Yeah, I'm going to look about this. Oh, Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. Absolute bullshit. Let me tell you about Cardano. It is only input output Hong Kong that can mine Cardano. And there is your single central point of control or, and influence. Um, what's, the, what's the term I use? Uh, centralized point of authority, control and influence. Yeah, is what IOHK is. You shut IOHK down and Cardano just simply disappears in a split second. It is a security and you can tell it's a security because they did an ICO which is an initial coin offering. You cannot do an initial coin offering offering unless you are the central creator of that thing. It is an absolute piece of dog shit. Literally utter dog shit. Huh. Uh, I don't know what else to say on it. You know, it, well, I mean, they're moving to proof of stake as well. And proof of stake just simply means somebody is, you know, basically given out, you know, given out this thing to stakeholders. Uh, and because there is no competition between the stakeholders, um, which which basically decentralize it, you get collusion, which means the network is sent the, the network is controlled by a single entity, which is the stakeholders themselves. It's such an absolute load of bollocks, utter bollocks. Um, it can only be Bitcoin with proof of work, but again, only us Bitcoiners here in uh, in BSV really uh, really know that. So uh, I'm going to leave this here for the YouTube trailer. Uh, and now we're going to uh, jump into the uh, real juicy bits. So check this out. I just want to play it. I'm absolutely livid with this uh, at the moment. So I saw this earlier. Honestly, I was, I was heartbroken by, um, by what I was seeing here. So we're just going to play this. It's just like a short 10 minute clip. But this is how the uh, pandemic is pushing people into poverty. So this is all part of, yeah, we'll bring this up. Here we go. Close that Cardano one. Get a professional website. Mm -hmm. Come on, cinema mode. Let's have you. There we go. Skip ads. Thank you. Uh, right. So, um, again, this. Uh, so, well, uh, Channel 4 is a uh, British public broadcast service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my, my point is on this. When these people's businesses go bust, when they can no longer either pay their rent or pay their mortgages or pay anything like that, who is it that forecloses on them? It's the banks. And as we've seen, uh, you yeah, know, the economic, the, um, the the World Economic Forum is saying, oh, you will own nothing and you'll be happy. So basically, this is all part of their, um, you know, build back better bollocks. Um, oh economic reset where they're just like yeah you'll loan nothing because they are going they're planning on taking it off everybody and there's nothing you can do because they're closing your business they're preventing you from working they're saying right well you owe us this right so now we're going to take your house and you will own nothing it really really gets my go and again it's only bitcoin that can solve this literally if if bitcoin wasn't around and i couldn't see the benefits that bitcoin have got so people have got sovereignty over their money now sovereignty over their assets you know nobody can just simply take your bitcoin off you obviously unless you've stolen it from someone else as well as and, and large amounts that is you know so this is this is really and this actually sort of um you know fired me up because i was just like these people need to know what bitcoin has been designed for and again i'm sick to death of these effing shit coiners effing everything up for everybody you know i'm doing my best to get my uh, to get this um message out there to as many people as i can and it will come like corporations will come and then people will be asking questions and it's up to us it's our duty here to be there ready for all these people flooding in with legitimate questions what is this thing it's a digital commodity Oh, you know, they might be getting confused with digital currencies. I've already had to explain this to a few people. Digital currencies are securities. They are absolutely illegal. They will be shut down. Every single one of them. Bitcoin is a digital commodity. The commodity being a data sovereignty, like an immutable data that can then be used as a medium of exchange. That's what's so good about it. So again, it's just cryptocurrency, as I'm starting to realize, it's just like another political spin term, just like HODL. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, don't use it, don't use it. Oh, you know, uh, cryptocurrency, yeah, yeah, it hasn't got any other use other than the currency. No, we're seeing you can upload your data onto the blockchain with this thing. And when you upload your data, nobody can crack it, hack it, alter it, delete it. 
You know, so it just means your your precious family photos and wedding videos will remain safe. You know, and you value them. That's the uh, that's the whole point. So uh, yeah, shout out to uh, people in the chat box. I saw everybody uh, pile in there, which is pretty cool when I started the show. Thank you very much. Uh, Connor G from the top. We've got uh, uh, Joshua Arrow face in there. Neasy, Red Hour. Nice one. Thanks, Dimitri. Um, Ox on Oxo. Again, we'll have to uh, tell me what your handle and pay mail is because I can't remember it. Uh, KP Dad, Shelly Mac. Great stuff. Uh, Sylvia and Coutier, JP as well. Nice one, guys. Right. Get yourselves comfortable. Sit back, relax, and let's watch this video. There we go, people. I don't know about you, but that really struck a chord with me. I was, I was fuming. Like this, this is what the banks are making these people do: selling all their prized possessions, you know, selling the cars, selling the motorbikes, you know, and all for what? Because they're preventing people from making a living by shutting their shops and saying, "No, you can't go to work, but you still got to pay your bills." And by the way, if you don't, we're going to repossess all your stuff. But don't worry about it. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Like, absolutely livid. Absolutely livid. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed that show. That was uh, 45 minutes. Uh, we'll just find a nice little picture of Cardano. I might, for clickbait, just call this show uh, Cardano is a piece of crap. <laughs> Let's just find a picture of Cardano. Uh, Cardano. Let's see what we've got in this, this piece of crap. Can't believe that like people just don't know this is an absolute piece of dog shit. I probably use uh, probably use one of these images. Or should we have their uh, website up? Have they got any uh, any more images on there of themselves? Enterprise bollocks. Um, yada yada yeah. We go look. Input output Hong Kong. You know, the only the only mining company. I don't even know what that is, but. Proof of stake and all that crap. It's horrendous. So, right then, peeps. Oh, oh yes, I've got my phone with me. Uh, handles and paymails in the chat box. Let's do this. Rock and roll. Just going to open up my hand cache there. And questions as well. Uh, just let me just open up my hand cache and then we'll get there. So, I can see. Thanks very much. Uh, thanks for uh, keeping me informed, Shelly Mac. I said 20 here, then 24. 24 live listeners. Check it out. Um, a look at this just in terms of my show figures for Streamality. Again, <laughs> if this show ever gets shut down, I'm just going to call it uh, CSW TV because he is the moneymaker. Uh, check this out. My best performing video on Streamality. You'll see it in just a second. I'm wondering whether or not, I'm wondering whether I should just milk it and not actually release it on YouTube. I guess 32, uh, 32 views paid, um, so $6.4. Again, I mean, when you think that Isaac Morehouse and his all his shitcoin buddies, you know, get like $100, $100 per show, it is a little bit depressing, really. But I'm going to uh, I'm gonna invest any profits in that into the uh, news flashes. I'm probably going to do uh, debunking Bitcoin bollocks, something like that, just because of all his shitcoin is posting so much shit. They need to be pointed out, like like I did with Cardano earlier. <laughs> so either way, I shall find a way of uh, of being productive. So uh, yeah, questions. Here we go. I've seen uh, reform too many coiners. Said uh, Flynn tweeted in February uh, 2015. Bitcoin, the rise of a digital currency, may be a matter of uh, evolutionary destiny. Uh, understand it because it uh, it will happen. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, nice one, nice one. About 10 minute mark, I need to talk to Dave. His understanding has a, a way to go. Yeah, but I bet uh, Flynn gets it, despite his 2015 use of the term digital currency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, again, it's, all this political spin is going to take a long time to, to learn. But if we are ready for the influx of newbies coming in. So again, I mean, what I've done, I've blocked as many shitcoin as I can. Literally, block, 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 block. I'm not interested. You know, somebody new coming in, what is this? Right, this is what it is. So effectively, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they haven't been polluted by all these shit coiners. They don't come in stinking of shit coin, asking stupid shit coiner questions. You know, and then when somebody understands it and you tell them straight, and they're not asking you stupid questions in return because they're, like I said, their mind has been, you know, warped by these shit coiners, uh, they can then explain it to other people. So like, we need to be ready. You know, dinging dongs, get them, get them onboarded onto uh, wallets, get them onto Twitch, get them on Relica, 
Um, you know, but like I said, mainly it's going to be uh, um, a corporation. So really, you know, it's really just going to be wallets, uh, how to store it safely and how to spend it and send it and where to buy it, you know, uh, is going to be main ones. So uh, Shelly Max says, reform too many corner comments. Uh, uh, General Michael Flynn tweeted in February, oh, yeah, uh, the Bitcoin rise of the digital currency may be a matter of evolutionary destiny. Understand it because it will happen. Yep, yep. Any, uh, have we got any, have we got any questions in there? I'm uh, just looking through. Oh, there we go. So Toshi TV, a fun place to learn about Bitcoin fundamentals. Love it. Love it. See, like, you know, that's, um, that's grammatical marketing, that one. You've got the fun for fundamentals. Love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, an easy saying 30 minutes is good. Yeah, I, I have run over again today, but, you know, we'll uh, close it as soon as we can. Uh, JPAP says, uh, BSB needs high profile celebrity here. Uh, well, the high profile celebrity on, on Twitch, yeah, because then they will stick around. What we don't need is celebrities just like pumping it and dumping it, like, you know, douchebag from Gene Simmons from Kiss and like just, just buying it for no reason. Whereas if celebrities are on Twitch and they're using it, you know, and they're actually making money from, uh, from their celebrity, then yeah, great. Get celebrities on Twitch, but we don't need celebrities just pumping it. We just simply need utility. Price follows value, follows utility. And that's what I'm saying. These corporations like Geospock, etc., cetera, um, are the ones who are going to be really uh, macking it hard. Uh, where is it? I think I sent this. Did I send the image to myself? I know I uh, sent it to Wall Street. You will have it up there. Yeah, well, we'll use that one while we're doing uh, dinging of the dongs, uh, which is the, uh, the, you know, the Geospock one. Let's find it quickly while, uh, while we're doing this. Great, great picture, that one. I abbreviated it. We'll see it in just a sec. All right, when it comes up. Mm -mm. There we go. Look at that. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. Right, start from the bottom. At the bottom, we have got uh, Neasy. Yeah, yeah, Stefan Molyneux on Stream Manager. Yeah, seen that. Uh, again, I mean, you know, I only know him from that uh, that really good uh, YouTube video he did where he was describing what Bitcoin was or, you know, what he thought would happen to it, which is exactly what happened. So, like, great prediction there. Oh, that was uh, that was yours, Neasy. I need to turn the volume up on my phone. j Paps, you're next. You've been away somewhere. Been away where? Um, you're at no risk signal. Been away for a few days working in the, in the boonies. What's the uh, what's the what's the boonies? I'm a bit uh, out of the loop on that one. Here we go, swiping to send on the way. Turning my volume up. Got it. There we go. Shelly Mag, you are next. Thank you for all the work. There we go. Swiping to send on the way to you. Oh, reform too many coin. I think is that use it or lose it? Let's have a look. Um. Use it or lose it is getting it anyway. There we go. Being donged. There we go. Uh, Sav Toshi. All right, mate. All the way from Oz. Up early to catch the show. Thanks very much. There we go. Sav Toshi. Worth it for a dong, mate. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Diddy's in there as well. You are next. Diddy, not Duddy. There we go. Diddy. Swiping to send. Sylvia and Kuche, you're next. Nice, short and sweet uh, handle there. SC19. Got it. Yep, swiping to send on the way. And uh, KP, this is for you on the way. KP, Dad, excellent, nice. Nice, short and sweet one there. Uh, red arrow, I think that's uh, Dimitri, isn't it? Let's see, let me type that in. D E M Dimitri swiping to send on the way. And uh, uh, Connor G and Joshua Arrow. Josh, you have to remind me what your one was again. Uh, Connor G, I mean, was it a uh, face? I think, was it? Was it, yeah, I'm sure it was face of the handle. We'll dong something on uh, on face. Here we go. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, F A C E. Oh, fat fingers. Oh, come on. This is uh monkey face. His face. Is that you? Okay, <laughs> can't be. Uh, which one was it? 
Um, is it? Oh no, it's face. Let's try that again. Here we go. Um, oh no, it's face. If that registers, you're getting it. And it's not registering. Remind me what your one is again, Josh. Or I'll just ding you on Twitch. Is it face? Oh, as in like monkey face, seriously? All right, okay. Uh, hold on. Mm. Um. Uh, it comes up with monkey face. <laughs> Swipe to send is out of the way. Oh, it has gone to face. All right, I need to put. I may, maybe I need to put it in my. Uh, yeah, Josh got it. All right, here we go. Add it to my friends. There we go. Sweet. Right. Cheers, guys. So uh, we'll leave it there. Fifty-two minutes. Guys, it's amazing how fast time flies. But anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, as ever, be aware. Take care. Stay safe out there. Joy given. Same time tomorrow. Catch you guys later. Get your tweet etched on Twitch, forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Support independent content creators on micropayment platforms such as Streamality, Twitch and Relica. We should profit from our data not the large corporations who track, monitor and sell it. If you enjoy the Bitcoin content that I produce, please support me by heading over to www.satoshi.tv where you can keep up to date with all the latest news, gossip and content as it's created. Thanks very much. To get started in Bitcoin, go to freebsv.com where you can claim your free Bitcoin. Then head over to Twitter and follow at IamZatoshi where you can take part in his very generous and world famous free giveaways.